Sneeze on you later, bud. Hopefully will be. Well, everybody, we just left. SCRC 401, that's Keith, and uh, down from the clubhouse. And uh, I'll tell you, I stayed a little bit longer than I really wanted to from the beginning, which is not a big deal. Not a big deal. But uh, a reason I did it was the uh, the weather turned a little inclement for me. And uh, I really didn't want to rock to ride in the... Uh, bad weather to get home. So what I did is I just stuck around, which not a big deal. It was actually kind of fun. Keith uh, kept me company, which was very nice of him. And uh, Keith, if you're watching this video, I'll like just put a big old thank you out there. And also John. They were very good hosts. Yeah, Keith was a little bit out of it, but, now I'll put a big old pot in it. He, uh, he, he was okay. He just, he's a nighttime worker, and uh, I think that he, he might have sleep, uh, get the microphone in my mouth, sleep ap apnea, which, I mean, it can, it can, you can die from that if it's not treated. Um, I have it personally, and uh, I treat mine. Gravel parking lot? I don't think so. That little turn around, you gotta turn around, bud. That's all right. That's all right. We're not really going too far out of the way. Well, I say we were having a great time down there. We were joking. We had a. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what. You know, one of the good. Uh, it's good and bad because whenever you get to somebody that you really, um, you can click with, call, you know, joke around, have a great time. You come across this. Uh, Come, you, you can come yeah, have some great ideas, okay? And what happens is, I mean, these great ideas, um, you forget about them. It's like you should write them down. Which I should have. So, we're just on basically on like the, like the edge of Newcomer's Town. We'll be headed out. This is uh, 36 in front of me. We gotta head out. Uh, we gotta head east on that. No, I think 36. This is, uh, they call it State Street. I gotta head this out. And, uh,. Once I head, uh, take this out, I'll hit 36. Then I take, uh, I'll be going on down, I gotta go north on 77. Then what I end up doing is hit 225. No, 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 no. Sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. You take 77 north, then you hit uh, Route 62T. And 62T, you go east. Then you take that out and ride it out to two, Route 225. And that, uh, and I think that's called North 225 you take. 
then you turn around, or you take it up there to Route 76. You take 76 east, then uh, you, take, you take that out, and now turn actually turns into Route 80. And I can take Route 80 right on out to home. But, I mean, it sounds simple. It's a lot of miles to ride out. And uh, the my biggest nemesis for riding so far is that grooved road. They grind, they grind it out until they're gonna be working on it. Well, there's sections of on the 76. It's been there for like two years. Then there's a, they're working on the uh, 76, that was 77. And over on 76, they're doing a lot of that. Then over on 80, they're doing a lot of it. And like, oh, geez, come on, guys. Please give me a break. I can't do this. I can't handle it, buddy. So. But we are headed out. I was trying to hold on and see if the, the clouds above me will break up a little bit. It's noon. And uh, they don't seem to be breaking up. They kind of seem steady, but it's not going to rain, I don't think, at all. But it's a beautiful day just to ride. It's cool. I mean, it can't be more than, uh, what, 65 or 63? That's what it feels like, anyway. If any of you guys ever get a chance to come on down in the area of Newcomers Town, I mean, uh, look up uh, Keith and John and uh, and give them a holler. And, I mean, come on, guys. The, the, the clubhouse is there. We. Uh, It's a nice, really nice place. We are trying to build up certain things that they were lacking. But, I mean, it's nothing that is, is that bad. The worst part of it for me, of the whole stay, was, um, you know, I teased Keith about this, and by him sleeping and everything else, but, I mean, it makes you worry about it because, I mean, he, he is, he's having problems with his sleeping. Now, I know what it's like. I have sleep apnea. get through this guys and I know how dangerous it is and he is sleeping a lot I mean you can tell he's not getting rest and if people don't understand what uh, sleep apnea is I can't I can't really explain it all I'm not a doctor um, but what it is, what your body does, it, it stops breathing. It's like holds the air in for a very long time, and I mean it's dangerous. Your heart can stop. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So I mean, it's like wow. And I'm, I, I, I am. Even though I say, okay, you guys are my friends, I mean, I have different, like, uh, levels, and, I mean, he, he's gotten to be a close friend, and I'm like, wow, I hate, I hate to see him. He's only a few years older than me. Come up with problems, which, which he can die from. It's a shame. He did sleep a lot, and 
He tried. He really did try. Be there for me, and I mean, I don't like him. Well, don't be here for me. We're friends. Don't, don't, don't entertain me. And we entertained each other. It was, it was, it was kind of fun. Fun, nice, to, a really, really nice get together. And last time I, I came out of it last year, of how everything was so horrible and everything, and it was a big old joke. But I mean. They're great people. Um, what started the trip off was uh, we had a, a cookout over at Mr. Polymer's house. And uh, it was a good cookout. He had hamburgers, he had, uh, what, uh, what was it, sausage on the grill. Hamburgers and sausage, and he had a macaroni salad, and there's chips. I believe there was coleslaw there, I might be wrong. But it, it was all good, it was all good. And we were able to sit down, the four of us, and just have a great talk and a great time. After the uh, picnic, we went. We decided, well, let's go on down and ride down to the clubhouse. And uh, Mr. Palmer took the lead, and we went down through some nice Amish country roads. And it, I mean, it was like, wow, this is awesome. Now, me, myself, I live in, right, right by a uh, predominantly Amish ter uh, area, so it wasn't like a big deal to me, but it was just nice to be able to ride through some place like you've never been, and it was just awesome. The go has done flawless for me, very flawless, and uh, I mean I couldn't I, I couldn't have a better time or a better trip. Well, I could, and I'm looking for it in August, and I want to see all you guys that can make it. Please make it. I'll be looking forward to meeting you guys and saying, hey, uh, come on, have a great time. <laughs>